if you're a person that's seeking the help of a personal trainer or just somebody that's knowledgeable about fitness and um, nutrition, whether they have the credentials, which I do, or whether they don't have the credentials, first off, you take in your time. Then secondly, you take in the time of the person that you're seek, seeking the information from, which is more important than your time. Because this person already knows what to do. He's not asking for help. You're asking for help. So when you take the time out to ask this person for assistance when it comes to weight loss or just health in general, what do you think you should do? Hmm? Should you just take bits and pieces and then think you can figure out the rest of it by yourself? Obviously not, because you haven't been successful in your weight loss journey before. So you're trying to seek the help. You're trying to seek the knowledge, at least you claim you are. But whenever a person tells you what you need to do, you can always find something wrong with it. But what I want you to know is that when you're not successful in the end, when you don't meet your goals, you can't blame the person that's trying to give you the information, especially if you didn't do it to the letter like you're supposed to. Now, what I like to do is, because I'm a realistic person, and a lot of times when people ask for help, whenever I go through a trans transformation for a competition or something, they want that diet that I've done. And realistically, it's not going to happen. Because if you've been going, and I'm exaggerating, if you've been going to McDonald's every single day for the past 10 years, what the hell you think you're going to do when it comes to, to losing weight? You think you could do what I did? No, it took time for me to even be able to go through that hell just for a competition. So what I like to do is I like to get to figure out what that person likes to do. You know, how much time can they actually afford to get in the gym? You know, because everybody can't go seven days out the week. Some people only go three days out the week or maybe two, you know, which isn't going to help you too much. But if you can only go three to four days out the week, I have to tailor something strictly for you. Not for every, everybody's not going to be able to do the same thing. So what I do is I let people know, okay, if you haven't been going to the gym, just show up for a couple of weeks. Get in the habit of going to the gym, not necessarily lift weights or anything, just even if you're going to walk on the treadmill for 20 minutes. Because what you're trying to do is build up a healthy habit of going to it, a healthy addiction to going to the gym. Because once you do it for a long, long enough time, it'll get to the point where as you won't even feel right if you don't. So I like to do things in stages. Go to the gym for a couple of weeks, then I'll gradually be able to put together a workout for you. But you have to do the first step that I'm telling you to do. If you're not going to do the first step that I'm telling you to do, it's not going to work. You're not going to be successful. And when it comes to dieting, what I like to do is I tell people to, for the week, first week or two, I'll tell them to, I want to see what your idea of eating healthy is. What type of foods can you handle or you think that you can stick with when it comes to your diet? Because, again, you can't do everything I do. Um, so it's just realistic for me to try to form something that's tailored specifically for that person. But what I've been noticing is that a lot of the people that have been seeking my help haven't been following my directions. Um, I'll ask for daily updates on what you've been eating because I have to see what you've been eating so I can create something for you. It's a method behind the madness. I'm not just doing this shit in vain. I'm not just wasting your time. The key to this shit is being consistent. And if it's something that you can't handle, you're not going to be able to be consistent with it. So I'm not going to waste your time or waste mine. But if you do come and ask for help, especially when it's free, respect that person's time, respect their knowledge. And if you really ain't ready to go through the grind, don't open your mouth and ask for the help. Because after a while, it gets frustrating. If you're able to get on your phone every day and type on Facebook or text whether your friends or whatever it is, if you're able to do that, then... You can find the time to let me know what you ate. And you can't tell me that you forgot because ain't no way in hell you can forget if you, say for instance, if, I'm doing, if you're doing intermittent fasting and you have to wait till 11 o'clock to eat. 
if you're not eating first thing in the morning, then you know why you're not doing it, because you're doing intermittent fasting. So if you don't eat till 11 o'clock, obviously it's on your mind that you're doing intermittent fasting, and this person is helping you. And this person requested that you let him know what you ate each and every day, each and every day. Also, let this person know how you're feeling. Do you feel like it's something that you could do? Do we need to switch it up? Do we need to switch up the blueprint, try something different? This is the reason why I asked this. This is the reason why I asked this. And I haven't been getting the effort that I think that that you need to do to be able to be successful with this. Because in the end, when you tell somebody that a person is training you, you are literally their billboard. Not literally, but you're the billboard. You're their promotion. So it's on you not only to do it for yourself, but as far as respecting the time and knowing that it's not just about you. Because if another person's name is stamped on it, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do in the end, it makes me look bad. So I'll wrap this all up. If you don't want to do it or do it the exact way that the person is telling you, let that person know. You can find somebody else to help you. But regardless, if you want to lose the weight, get in shape, this shit ain't going to be easy. You got to do the exact opposite of what you've been doing. I'm out.